Hey guys, it's Young Mind here back with another video and today I'm going to be telling you how to use the Steam uh, Unturned Dedicated Server Tool. Now, I don't personally use this but I think it's a really easy way to make a server so if you're looking for a quick and easy way this is the way to go. One thing I want to say before this, if this video helps you out please drop a like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing and to make videos like this in the future. So, let's hop right into it. The first thing you want to do is you need to get the Unturned Dedicated Server tool and you need to run it. Um, you just need to run it once at the beginning just so it knows what is... Um, so it sets it all up basically. And then you just need to wait. The first time it'll probably be slow. Because I've done this before it's not as slow as you can see it's loading up there and it's loaded. And then you just want to type shut down. Then what you want to do is right click on this, hit properties, click on local files and then click browse. This will open up the U3DS uh, folder. Then you just want to click on servers and click on default. Now we need to go into server and commands.dat. Now if you don't see this with the little notepad icon, just click on open with and then you should see notepad here. If you don't, click on more apps and then you'll find it somewhere down there. So you open this up. I've already typed a couple of things in here. Yours should be blank. So the few things I recommend typing is a name. This is a name for your server. It's what everyone will see. Uh, I'm just going to type in Young Mind Tutorial. Um, then other things you can type are the port, which is 27015. Um, this doesn't matter as much, it'll always default to 2715. This only really matters if you're using a different port. Um, and if you don't know why you should do that, um, don't don't bother uh, messing around with that basically. Um, it's not really that useful for just small server hostings. Um, then another one you can do is password. You can do game mode, things like that. There's a whole list of... Um, difficulties and uh, not difficulties uh, commands and stuff you can put in here and um, I'll have that linked down below if I remember and um, then what you can do is map PEI I'm going for and um, this is case sensitive so say if you were doing Washington you need to you know put the capital W and um, and then custom maps is a different method so if you want to play on a custom map watch my video on um, how to install custom maps and that'll help you out a lot so we're just going to save this for now. Remember to save it, otherwise none of these changes will be applied. And then you can look at a couple of other things in here, such as the config. Now, what this does is um, it basically just gives you all the, the settings in the whole server. Um, I'm not going to go through this now because it's so, so long. I have a video going through every command in here. If you want that as well, um, you can look for that. Um, but this basically has everything that you could ever want in the server. Um, so yeah, that's very, very useful. Then you have your workshop stuff. So if you want to install custom content, you need to know about all that. Um, but if you're going to install custom content, I really recommend you check out my other video on that. Because um, it can get quite complicated. Um, so then what you want to do is run the dedicated server. And then we're going to launch Unturned. And we're going to connect to it. And I'll show you how your friends would connect as well. So, as you can see, it's loading up. And it's going to load up unturned so that we can play the game. And we can join the server. So, it should just take a couple of seconds. Unturned has been loading really slowly for me recently. Uh, for some reason, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but it's looking like it's almost finished here, which is good. Hurry up. There we go. Click on play. Go to servers. And if you're connecting, you can just click on LAN because you're hosting it on your machine. Um, so you can just join like that. And then your friends would join. They can either go to friends or what they can do is they can go to connect and put in your IPv4, or if you're doing this for Hamachi or something, your Hamachi IPv4, the port, which is 27015, unless you've changed it, and then the password, which is anything you want to set. 
So um, yeah, this is basically just how you join for you, LAN for them, IPv4 or friends. And then yeah, it's really, really simple. I think this tool is good. I don't think it's as good as normal server creation, but if you're just wanting something quick and easy, then I think it's a good tool and you should definitely know how to use it. But anyway guys, um, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, I've been saying that. Also, I have a Minecraft channel as well, so maybe check that out if that's something you're into. But, till next time, I'll see you soon.